There are several gut parasites we're concerned about with chickens. These are nematodes, so large roundworms, ascarids. These may be found in faeces. Generally, they don't cause too many problems, but in large numbers, they may cause a blockage. Sequel worms, Heterarchis gallinarium, or small ascarids. These are tiny worms that live in the seeker, the blind-ended gut. They often carry another parasite called Histomonas meleagridis, which can cause blackhead disease. Capillaria, which are hairworms or threadworms, are tiny worms that can live in the crop and intestines and cause diarrhoea, weight loss, and in severe cases can be fatal. Cestodes. Tapeworm egg sacs can be seen on faeces. These tend to not cause too much trouble. They may cause a blockage in very high numbers. Coccidia, Imeria species, are microscopic parasites that live in the gut. There are several different species that vary in the severity of disease and generally affect young birds. Birds develop immunity to specific species of coccidia once they've been exposed and recovered. It's best practice to test for the presence of worms rather than to treat for worms every couple of months. The way to test is by a worm egg count, which looks at a sample of the bird's poo and tells us if worm eggs are present. This gives us essential information on which parasites are present and how many parasites are present. And from this, we can determine if the treatment is necessary and what's the most appropriate treatment, dose and frequency. Not all wormers are the same and different preparations or treatments have different effects depending on the parasite present. If you would like to treat, please speak to your vet or suitably qualified person. If there's a parasite in the bird's environment as detected on a faecal egg count, then the birds are likely to be reinfected following a treatment because the environment's contaminated. However, the more we treat and the more we expose the parasites to the wormers, we risk the treatments becoming ineffective. The parasites can develop resistance just like antibiotic resistance. Resistance to wormers is becoming a problem. Healthy birds can build immunity to some parasites and can hold off big infestations without any effects on their health. When we test a sample of the bird's faeces, we're monitoring the levels of parasite eggs and how well the birds are managing to hold off the parasite numbers and maintaining immunity by exposure to the worms.